Tidy ho, good neighbors. Today, we're making a turtle. That's right, our shiny into resin crystal faceted awesomeness in turtle form. Um, I have had a request to make this particular turtle. And what they want is the, the flat, uh, large square crystals in the middle to be in the uh, Snow Queen blue. And then the rest of him to be in Forest King, but not really dark. So what I've done is I have mixed up some Forest King uh, chameleon powder with some alcohol and just made an alcohol ink out of it. And we're going to add that to our resin. So to get things started, again, I have my Snow Queen Blue um, UV resin that I made. And I'm just going to go in and start filling up those little squares. And I'm just going to do a couple of them at a time because I don't want them to run all over the place. I got my UV light. Let's go ahead and nuke that. For just a little bit to make sure that they stay in place. Doesn't take long, just a couple of seconds. And do a few more. sure that I get all of them so I'm just looking around making sure all right so now that we've got all those filled in I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nuke for about a minute or so so I'll see you then all right, so now that that's all done, we've got our little crystals. Um, I've made up about, let me hold this up, about an ounce and a half of my Fooey Tim 1 to 1. And I am going to add some of my Forest King alcohol ink. Get that all mixed together. Okay, so now that that's all mixed in, I am going to give it a couple of minutes to sit in debubble, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, and you can see it's a very subtle color in there. It's nothing right, real dark or anything, but that's what they wanted. They just wanted subtle. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So now, and since I am making this for somebody else and not just myself, this is my OG uh, into resin uh, mold. I did make a copy of the molds just for things that I make myself, um, or for myself, I should say, uh, just so I can experiment and not mess up my uh, original mold. So I'm just going to pour it over my stick to help lessen the chance of any bubbles. going to fill it all the way up yet. What I am going to do is give it some taps because since this is a handmade mold, I don't want to go over it with any um, 
alcohol or uh, heat or anything like that and risk messing up my uh, my pretty mold. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to give it a tap a bit of a squish, but I don't want to squish too much because I don't want to dislodge those uh, UV resin niblets. He does need a little bit more in there because I do want to dome him slightly. And this mold takes about an ounce of resin, so I made up a little bit extra just in case, so we can make something else. Doesn't that sound exciting? I think it does. I think it sounds very exciting. <clears throat> All right, so I will see you guys soon because my phone's ringing. <laughs> see you soon. Okay, it's time to do the turtle. Let's see how he turned out. Oh, wow. Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, those two colors together are just phenomenal. Look how sparkly. Oh, I love him. I love him very much. He turned out beautifully. It's not nearly as sparkly on camera as he is in, as he is in, in person. So... There he is. So, our little turtle buddy. Let's get him on a, on a lighter background so you can see. You know what? I'll go outside and take some pictures of him so you guys can see him in the sunlight, what's left of it. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And we've got some really cool projects coming up. So. I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.